hey guys, why am I doing this? I don't know. Whatever. Um, so I was asked today at my, my volunteer work thing, um, how I kept my face kind of clean. I have like red spots here. Hold on. This is a ring light. Oh, fine. it's actually a mirror. Don't judge the mess. But if you can see, I've got some red, like here and here. And um, uh, there, you can see it now. And, um, but I don't have acne. Like I have one pimple here, but that's like it. And I was asked, how, um, how do I keep my face? How do I do all that? So I thought I'd share it with you guys. Um, so the first thing that I do when I get home, because I, I take my care of my face at night, the first thing that I do is I come home and I take off my glasses because who can take off makeup with glasses? And I have this, like, Costco makeup remover. It's It came in, like, a pack of 150 so. And it was actually, like, $10 and it works really well. So I have right now the Cabrow thing, the NARS um, gel. Um, I also have some Sephora eyeliner that I can't find and just some mascara. This Pumped Up Colossal by Maybelline. Um, and it's all like waterproof and stuff, but like it takes me three seconds to take off my brows. Look at that. I mean, it's not quite completely off, because I didn't quite rub it in. See? There it is. See the difference? Hot? Less hot. I mean, I still think I'm hot. Y'all know me. Self-confident as hell. So, take off the brows. Oh my goodness, this takes so long. And then just rub it on the eyes once. There you go. Makeup free-ish. I'm going to go take off the rest of my mascara and stuff. I'll be back with my next step. So I'm back. All my makeup is off. I am cleansed. I'm not cleansed. I didn't do anything. Um, but, so the next step kind of depends on how my skin's been. Um, if, I've, if my skin's been really oily that day or if um, I've seen like a couple more um, uh, pimples, I will use the Clean and Clear Continuous Control Acne Cleanser. Um, this is the daily formula. And it's like $14 or something. But it is like really intense and it's for oily skin. And it's really like it digs the stuff out of my pores. It does burn a little. Um, maybe that's just because I have a dirty face. But um, I really like it. And... It works like immediately. It's crazy. So I'm gonna go wash my face with this. I use this. It's a Coastal Sense BRB S30. I think that's like, um, what the name of the brush is. It's like, oh my god, I dropped it. It's like this big, wide, nice and fluffy, pretty, still pretty dense, um, brush. And I'll wet my face, and then I'll put um, wet the brush and put some of this on here. And then I'll just do it in circular motions all the way around, focusing on the bottom area of my cheeks, which are my problem areas, my chin, my nose, and my forehead. So, like, the T, the T, um, except an I. <laughs> I'll be back once I've done that. So that's done. Um, I did forget to mention with this product... Um, it is very um, harsh on the skin, so if you have very sensitive skin, I don't recommend it. Maybe find something that's more for sensitive skin rather than just oily. Um, but it's insane. Like, my skin just feels cleaner. It feels like all the dirt has been sucked out with a vacuum. Greatest thing. Um, so after thoroughly washing my brush, washing my face, and patting it dry with like a just a random bath towel. It's really soft. Um, I have this that this is honestly one of my favorite new product products. It's the um, Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Deep Dive Cleansing Gel, and it is on the pricier side. I think it was like twenty bucks, and it comes in this big bottle, which is really nice. And it's like see how big it is compared to my hand. There's a lot of product in here, and you only need one pump. Like, I'll show you. You only need... Oh, I haven't used it in a minute. Oh, I locked it. That's why. You only need 
that much for your entire face. Like, literally. It's the greatest thing. Maybe I can... And you rub it on, and you get this lovely, silky lather, if you can see here. And I'm going to go put more water on it, um, on the brush. And you can see the lather that's lathering up my face. And it's really soft and silky and just very gentle on the skin. And it's really good for oil. It tucks in all the pores. And um, after getting all the dirt scraped out with the other product, this kind of just makes your skin take a deep breath and be like, ooh, we're so clean. I know I'm weird, but I think my pores have voices. So I'm going to go finish this up. I'll be back. So now that I'm super cleansed and it's so soft, it's insane. Um, the next step is optional. Um, obviously, these are all optional, but for me, this is optional. This is from a tester that I got, but I love this. It's a face mask with rose, and it's by... Um, this is by Fresh Cosmetics. Infused real rose petals. Hydrates and tones. Can you... There you go. Um, and it's... It smells like heaven. It looks really weird, though. Here, I'll show you. See, it has, like, rose petals in there. It's really very, um... I want to say kind on the skin, but that's not the right word. Sensitive and very, um, makes your skin very smooth. And it does tone, um, not as much as I would want it to. Um, but it does tone a little bit, just makes everything a little even. It made me a little red. I really like it. The other thing I like to just, I have really large pores here and here and like here and under my eyes and on my chin. Um... So what I like to do is I like to mix egg whites, like whipped egg whites, and um, lime juice or lemon juice. It doesn't really matter. And um, you take um, a tissue and you apply it on your, uh, you take a tissue, or no, sorry, you don't take a tissue. You take the lime and um, egg white, you apply it, then you put a tissue, then you apply another coat. You do have to wait something like 20 minutes to um, peel it off, and it's kind of like a blackhead peel. Um, it doesn't work as well as blackhead peels, but it's really easy and DIY and nice. That's also pretty harsh on your skin, though, and uh, you have to use real egg whites um, rather than like the stuff that comes in the box. Um, so that would be the optional step. I'm not going to do it now because I don't have a lot left. Um, the next step... So I love this moisturizer. It is the greatest thing in the world, but it's very expensive. This bottle was $85. I didn't buy it. My aunt bought it. My aunt's on the wealthier side. Um, and it's by Tata Harper. And it's called the Illuminizing Moisturizer with Diamond Radiance. Also known as um, Soin Illuminant. Hydron pour le, vis le visage avec la, le diamant éclate. I do speak French. Um, so this is it. And it comes in quite a large bottle. This is, I think, an ounce. 30 milliliters, one fluid ounce. Um, I also had this size, which I got for free from Sephora, um, which I tested it and I loved it. And so it comes out. You only need like one or two pumps for your whole face and it comes out like this in this beautiful shimmery I don't think you can see it very well like pink color and it's shiny and it's beautiful and you just take a little and I put on my cheek and on my cheek and then down my nose and on my chin and then I take one more drop one more pump. I do put it on my hand first. I don't know why. It's probably a waste of product, but whatever. I put it more on my cheeks because my cheeks are huge. And then we rub it in. If you're very gentle, it's so soothing and it feels like there's so much moisture. And our face is just eating it. Eating it a lot. And it smells like heaven. It's the greatest thing. And my whole face just feels feels better after putting it on, you know? Mm. And I swear it's, I don't spend a lot of money mostly because I'm a child 
um, well, child is relative, but I would spend the money on this. I was going to buy it for myself, but my aunt bought it for me for Christmas. Oh, my whole face feels good. Um, there's also one other thing. You ha I always, I am a huge advocate for primer because whether or not um, you have acne or you don't, um, primer is always a good thing just to help take care of your skin. And I have two that I love. And one is for like the tip of my nose and like um, the bottom of my chin, which do get a little dry sometimes. It's the e.l.f. Tone Adjusting Face Primer, and it's in the color green, and really there's no pigment to it at all. It just goes on clear. comes out like dark green, but it goes on clear, which is weird. Um, it is very oily, but it does um, get rid of the flaky dryness on my um, the tip of my nose and my chin. And then I have this one, um, which is so cute from Benefit Cosmetics. It's called, oh, hold on, The Pore Professional. And it's a pro balm to minimize the appearance of pores. And look at this. You open the front, it's like a tiny little action figure. It's so cute. Um, and then this is what the actual bottle looks like. It's not a ton, which I was frustrated with. Because it was like $23. And, um, it comes out like that, like kind of skin toned, and it is very matte, and it very much fills up your pores, so you have to clean your face at the end of the day if you put this on, because it will get stuck in your pores, and you'll get blackheads, and it'll be gross. So just clean your face. <laughs> so it comes on like that, and then you mix it onto your skin, just kind of in rubbing motions, and it's super nice, and I don't know if you can see... But, like, there is no shine to my hand right now. It's weird. My finger is so shiny. Why? Oh, there's still some glitter on it. Um, also, the e.l.f. one, I put it into a different cap because it was getting annoying. It goes on like that. See, green. But if you watch, I'll rub it in. What the heck? There's no pigment, like, at all. I know I have uh, tick marks. That's from my class today. None, and it's oily, but it's so smooth, and it, I put it on my hands sometimes just because it's really nice, and it's so affordable, it's insane, it was like two dollars, I love e.l.f., ooh, my hand is all nice and soft, um, so I think that's all for my skin routine, I do, um, for my, the rest of my skin, I have this sugar plum swirl, I just got it, and I love it from Bath and Body Works, um, it's a lotion, and I put it on my legs after I shave, and on my um, neck and arms and hands, and it smells, oh, it smells like heaven. Um, I think that's my whole routine. Thanks for listening. I know you didn't ask for it, but I'm telling you an A. Bye. Why do I keep holding up peace signs?